uh, we have a second resume. Uh, it was sent by Olga. Uh, Olga, yes, are you are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Okay. Can you give us a little bit more context, like which which position you are pursuing? Uh, I'm very new to the QA industry. I'm at the beginning of my journey and um, targeted for a manual QA engineer position. So yeah, that's, that's okay. my opinion, yeah. Okay, uh, let me zoom in. Are you able guys to see or it's hard to see? No. I think everybody else had better eyesight than me because I, <laughs> I was having yeah, I'm sorry for that. Let yeah, just uh let me zoom in. Uh let me know um, if you need to scroll. I'm looking for like an internship or something just to to enter this industry and to begin my journey. I don't have any practical experience other than uh boot camps and uh self-learning it's mainly self-learning okay scroll down oh thank you it was a couple minutes couple seconds is there anything else at the bottom yes Yeah, now I'm a recent graduate from a university with a totally different degree. So. Well, the question for you, since you are a recent graduate, um, did your university provide any um, placement support? Like, did they help you put together this resume or? No, I did it by myself. Okay. Cool. Um, I I think like num number one, you may want to look at resumes of recent graduates and I'm just gonna share some tips from that. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is you, you, you definitely want to um, stick to one page. Okay. Um, I, you obviously have um, other work experience, but you wanna maximize that real estate as well, right? Um, like things like, you know, you have professional summary and then you have career objective, right? That's, if you if you see there's there's all that empty space uh, that you're not, that you're not, you're not really utilizing here. So you wanna think about, you wanna keep it to one page and you wanna really think about what you put in that one page because you want that to, to be impactful and you want the person, um, in this case, you know, recruiters um, to, to see something uh, that catches their eye and they want to want to call you call you back would be my uh, my first feedback. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. So in in terms of formatting, uh, I'm not quite sure, but it's 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 not that is i mean it's not that catchy um you you need to work on the formatting you see uh we have we have here like a spacing thing it definitely uh professional summary it's like pretty big paragraph okay. you need to shorten oh by the way just today uh Christian, he shared in share knowledge uh, in our uh, crushing interview uh, website with a book. It's it's awesome. It's just to the point about like the resume. So I'll I'll share the link with you guys. Uh, meanwhile, but you need to make the formatting uh, easier to read because from the beginning it's 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 very hard to consume. So for example, it took me like couple seconds to find i mean not just to find to figure out what is your position career objective is is big but manual software can you engineer i i, I was like where is it um no. technical summary uh documentation well first of all this thing guys 
you don't need to put this anymore. This is a standard. If you don't know <laughs> Office, Microsoft, I mean, you're on the wrong field, definitely. So it's by def default, right? Um, <coughs> software management, Jira, X X Ray. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Same thing uh, like uh, with uh, Allison, I think. We need more uh, relevant experience, right? So that's great <laughs> that you're emphasizing your banking experience. But, you know, it's better to be relative. Yeah, and to my choices. Yes, like, you know, you can keep a couple of bullets, mm -hmm. uh, it, it, which is also, you can make it relevant to QA, yeah. but it, it doesn't really help you to find a QA job. Uh, sales associate, banking associate, it's, it's great, but it's not relevant. That's the main point here. Um, uh, what else? That's very like, fresh, but yeah so another thing that i mean Kenny, can i can i ask you can i interject and ask you a question or something um and this is i think helpful for the whole group but maybe helpful for me as well um how do you from your perspective what what you're what you're seeing from like what hiring managers are looking for like more more generally broadly or recruiters more broadly um how do you feel about links to um, folks' LinkedIn profile. Do you think that's important at all or it's just nice to have just your thoughts on it? And, it and maybe there's something relevant for Olga to pick up here as well. It it's also depends a deal. You know, if I clicking on the link in LinkedIn profile, it's in it and it is empty, you better not to put LinkedIn profile, right? So it depends. If you have something to show off in your LinkedIn, yes, definitely just put it. It's 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 great. Same thing with a GitHub. If your GitHub empty, <laughs> don't put it there, right? So so it's it's very uh, different. Uh, but it's yes, it's definitely help to find the person more uh, like his background, like oh maybe. It's missing something missing in in the uh, resume, but what um, in terms of what they're looking for first, and usually they're skipping this this stuff. No, I mean it's nice to have, but what people are looking first, guys? Okay, could you please uh, mute someone yourself? Uh, what are you usually looking? They're looking straight to what did you do on your last company right okay you demi remote oh that it's supposed to be you test i don't know, I don't know what I, <laughs> okay. I, I was thinking but maybe you know maybe you was working on udemy and uh, <laughs> yeah okay. i mean this is kind of something you know you don't want to make a mistake right yeah. uh, uh, guys please make sure i mean I'm not the native uh, English speaker, so I use Grammarly daily. So same thing applicable. I, I'm not even look at it and didn't parse it into Grammarly, but usually, you know, there should be no mistakes, obviously, uh, grammar or especially for QA, come on. I got it. Uh, uh, Amna, what what are your uh, thoughts? Yeah, so definitely um, being new to QA, you would definitely want to keep your resume one page um, and where you can kind of probably take back is you probably don't need a career objective because you're already going to be applying for QA positions. They're going to know, okay, this is for a QA position. Um, and then professional summary, if if you really wanted a professional summary you could keep it probably a lot shorter um mm -hmm. and and the parts you want to you know highlight fr from your professional summary like um like where you you know you're team oriented and such you can probably add that to your 
um, your experience. So what I mean is, you know, if you want to keep your sales associate, banking associate work, um, you can highlight those soft skills in those and then, you know, keep your hard skills for your current position. Um, because right now it's just, it's just reading out like, um, like your job, jobs at description for all these positions. And that's not really what they want to know. They kind of want to know what your impact was there. And so, you know, being new to QA, you would just want to highlight your soft skills, like your team building, um, efforts and such, um, I would work more again on the action verbs, like the first word of each bulletin point, you know, providing are kind of, you know, a little bit more weaker. There are, you know, different uh, things you can do to kind of look those up. Um, I use them all the time. You can just Google, you know, strong ac action verbs um, for your resumes and they kind of have lists where you can get a little bit more creative with, um, with your experience. And I would also, quantify as much as I can and that can kind of help you summarize some of these points like uh, working with different platforms such as web iOS you know you can probably quantify how many platforms you're using and that could be something that kind of catches the eye and you could probably you know um, as much as you can you can try, try to pull in the um, effects you've had from doing that again what that led to um, and how that's, you know, that ties into all of QA. Okay. Um, I'm sure uh, the others would know better how to summarize those points. Um, and I would, this is just me. I try to keep, I would, I would probably reword technical summary to just skills mm -hmm. and then keep that maybe, um, after my experience and yeah just highlight those parts that you're seeing in different job applications um, or job descriptions and just try to highlight that throughout your resume uh question olga did you use some template yeah for this resume right yeah. um yeah i, I don't that's what i'm seeing because it's not necessarily to have last and first name different colors. I mean, it's not a graphic design, but even if it will be for graphic design, style is not that good. Uh, check the fonts, for example, OS. I, I don't know why it's um, cursive. Am I pronouncing right? Yeah, your name yeah. could just probably be centered and like all the other information could just be centered just so it all looks concise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that would be, I mean, a lot of stuff to do. Uh, obviously, your resume will go through several iterations, and usually this is how it is. You probably already have this resume with, well, after five or six iterations of reviewing your resume, right? So, yeah. Uh, okay. Let me share you guys with you guys the link. You can check this out, uh, the book for uh, that Christian has shared with us. Um, it's it's awesome. It's 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 great. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thank you, uh, Olga. Was it helpful? It was. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, very helpful. I'm gonna start working on it. Thank you so much for everyone. Absolutely.